beautiful people, welcome to my drummer. Today's reading it will be the exact copy, like mirror copy of the previous one. Your person moves. So today we will have a look what kind of moves, what kind of actions your person actually expects or wants from you. So let's uh, get right into it. Let's choose your option. I will show you already the cards because I pre shuffle I was trying to record this video already and I totally, it's not the noisy neighbors now, I just dropped the camera <laughs> and I had to, uh, to start recording again. So option one, guys. It's Light Seer's Tarot with the bottom of the deck energy, the Emperor. Maybe it will be another signifier for you. And the card I got from the Soul Journey lesson cards for option one is Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So most probably someone you're in a relationship with. For option two, we will have this Fountain Tarot with the, this card piece. I love the, this color, <laughs> matching me perfectly. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And for option three, we will have Muse Tarot and this self-esteem card. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Now we will cleanse the space with the sound, so guys be mindful that there will be three loud sounds, not to damage your ears, especially if you are wearing hands. This one I'm using the Soul Journey lesson cards. So let's see moves your person expects from you. Option one, two, and three. This is the sacred geometry for relationships oracle.
This one is Osho Zentero. Prism Oracle. Romantic Angels. Romantic Oracle. It's probably the only romantic thing on this channel. Archetypes, uh, Archetype Cards by Carolinus. Madame and Dora's Fortune Cards. Hidden Truth Oracle, The Messages, and the Lover's Oracle is also the same name, with The Messages. Botanical Inspirations The Rose Oracle This is a mix of Starseed Oracle, Working Light, and Rose Oracle. And Rose Oracle for Option 3. These are just my handwritten quotes. Hello, dear Option One. Welcome to your reading. You chose this room. <laughs> I'm sorry for this background noise. Okay, it's a fucking noisy place. I'm so much looking forward for the summer to come to film outdoors because I will go crazy <laughs> reacting to each noise. <laughs> sorry, guys. Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I'm sure maybe you cannot even hear it on the for microphone, maybe it's just my <laughs> hearing. And the deck you chose is Light Sears. So we will have a look and see what kind of moves your person expects from you. What would they want you to do? So this part of the oracles will be guidance and messages. So they will wait somewhere here. And here I have plenty of cards for you. So actually in the preparation sections, in the timestamps, uh, I also show the decks. If you're interested in one of the decks and you want to see which one is that, I'm telling this to you there. Okay, so 
this one away, I have a limited space. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. The first thought I had is like they, they want to see if you're ready to be with them for better and for worse. They go through adversity, like not the best times, maybe not the worst times, but some difficulties. Maybe in their personal life or in your connection. Connection, connection we have here. They're very beautiful, this one. The frequency of connection supports our ability to find alignment and resonance with others, things, and ideas. Okay, so definitely we want you to establish a connection or to be connected, to be in, in a connection, in a relationship, to have some kind of bond, bond between you. Witness, we have witness here. Hunger <laughs> with wolf moon. Mm. Indulging in the impossible pleasure with uh, Svathistana, the sacral second chakra. Oh, that's a very sexy card out there. <laughs> indulging. They want you to indulge in the impossible pleasure. Pleasure, hunger. Okay, so th th this would be talking about your desire towards them. They want to be desired by you. Okay, this card we have. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, they want you to let go of resentment if there is some conflict happened between two of you guys. What? 50? Oh, actually, I will just uh, highlight the numbers here. Just started looking at the numbers. We have twice 52, 52, 52. Maybe you want to Google angel number meaning 52, 52. That will be a message for you. Because this one, another 52, is void of course, moon, missing. Like that song. And I miss you, like the desert miss the rain. So definitely this person wants you to miss them. <laughs> and talking about sexual desire, pleasure, hunger, Intensity. This is Knight of Wands. So they want you to want them intensely. So they want to feel your desire. They want you to be like, hey, I cannot do it without my person. I'm gonna call them <laughs> right now. Even if we've had a conflict, I'm gonna say sorry. Um, the burden. This is Six of Clouds, Six of Swords in Osho and Tarot. The burden. Oh, okay, the burden. Adversity burden. What the hell they want? <laughs> Jeez, what's this energy? Confidence. Mm -hmm. They want confident moves from you. Calling in your soulmate. Calling in, but uh, we could could reverb it into call me, <laughs> call me maybe. Rebel. Mm -hmm. Challenges authority to affect social change. Reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Mm. And what I feel here with Rebel is like do something out of the box, something not typical for you or something not typical, um, you know, if you live in some kind of society with this like uh, um, crazy street gender norms, like, oh, the lady shouldn't hold a gentleman up to the first date. So it's like they want you to rebel against something like this, some uh, conditioning. So act not typically. And rebellion would be like stating what you want. It's like various, it's Uranus energy of surprises. They want you to surprise them. The siren. Temptation leads astray. Okay, they want to be tempted and led astray. Pretty straightforward. Okay. The black cat. Your luck will soon change. So if you had some kind of conflict or uh, you're not communicating as often as you used to do. So definitely this person wants you to uh, break the pattern. Yeah, break the pattern. Establish the connection. Let me clarify this. The burden, adversity, this, this part. Page of Pentacles. And King of Wands. Okay, so it's definitely giving them a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who's... Uh, 
who is who, who's a, a woman, who's a man, who's a, both women, both men, I don't know, who's feminine or masculine psychologically. <clears throat> we have this king of wands. So they definitely want some proactive... Uh, it, like, what I feel here is they want to be wanted. They, they need to know that, yeah, I want you in my life. You saying the, the, your status. And after they, they will take the lead, like, <laughs> don't worry. Disregarding the gender or whatever. Mm -hmm. What else is adversity burden? Okay, King of Swords. It's like stay, I feel, what I feel here is stay with them despite some uncompromising, uh, uncomfortable situations. There might be something that you think they have a certain problem, right? That you need to either wait or understand them or compromise. Something which is uh, not letting them satisfy your needs, but they want you to feel like it's not them, but the circumstances. So what they want is appreciate them more than um, some conditioning, you know, in the relationship, like, oh, do they give me flowers each uh, Valentine's Day or something? But be like, okay, you can miss the flowers, but you're an important person in my life, don't worry. Let me clarify the witness here. Three of Wands. Wait, do they want some active actions from you? Or do they want you to just be observant, as I would say? Okay, the moon. Mm -hmm. For you to be observant. Is it good? rather for you to wait for them to either fix some issues, either, I don't know, get their shit together or something? Because they want you to be observant, the moon and the lovers. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Um, I don't feel like you need to, it's like you need to, um, the, the start ignition is needed from you. Does either this person um, do they think you're into them or not or what? Uh, nine of cups. Okay, they think that you're pretty happy on your own. So the thing they need is they, they need to know that uh, you like them, you're into them, or you love them, depending on a, um, whatever connection. How deep is that, and how long was it? So basically, they need to know you need them, and after they will act. So somehow you need to inform them. Also, the desire, they want to feel desired, really. About emotions, yeah, so something is about these emotions. So it's either you have a, a difficult period, like emotionally, maybe you have some, maybe both of you are deranged, maybe some situations in the outside world. Yeah, like, I mean, the world is totally crazy since 2020. Now it's like the degree of craziness is growing. Um, but they want you to let the emotions go and not be offended at them. <laughs> I don't know what happened to what have they done. And yeah, and have a, a, well, with this confidence, actually, uh, what, I, what I hear the song, I think it was by Hertz and Kylie Minogue, Confide in Me. Let me write it down for you. Confide in Me. Number one. I will link it. All right, actions or moves they expect they want from you, the moon. <laughs> okay, the moon. Oh, this, this is not about actions. This is about going deep within your emotions. So maybe they want, a, let me clarify with another one. So what do they, okay, the hangman. Well, definitely wait. And they go deeper, it's either they, um, something is with emotions. Either you seem to be very, 
cerebral, very mental, and that's why they kind of want to see you being emotional. These are two, the hangman and um, the moon. Both connected with Pisces, both connected with Neptune. So it's like this kind of dissolving... Um, it's like some kind of a telepathic energy. And uh, this is about going deep, going deep within, despite you're even afraid of, of something in this situation. And both represent a water element. So this person wants more emotions from you and they want to see what you're... Maybe they... Um, maybe your communication is superficial at this point. They want to know what you feel deeply. And in this option, what I, what I see here, it's like, it's not that you have to say this somehow. It's like they would want you to tap into this um, more introversial state and as if like your naturally your behavior will change if you kind of give yourself this time to understand what do I feel towards this person. And then what I hear, it's like some, I, I don't know if it's going to resonate with you, it's like send them like a telepathic message or something. So they want to feel you, they, they, want, they don't want to say you something because they want to understand if you feel the same way. That's, that's, that's a bit like elevated and, and romantic. <laughs> okay, what else would they expect from you? Three of Swords. Okay, that's rather like fear and negative expectation <laughs> pile here. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, this is what this they afraid of, that uh, you have no deep feelings towards them. Or you lost them, and maybe you had some emotional, very emotional fight or something. So they are afraid that they have much deeper feelings towards you than you have towards them, that you, they don't matter. They expect moves from you, so basically they expect that you break, will break their heart. Fantastic. Okay, but what do what do they want? Okay, now let's ask this way. What do they want? What kind of actions do they want? What death and rebirth? A ten of pentacles. Okay, it's not the death. Uh, let's break up. It's ten of. Let's transform the connection. Let's transform the react uh, the relationship, or let's uh, resurrect it if uh, it's. We had what kind what card we had relationships here yeah, for a relationship. So I don't know, logically you're like hey, if you are in a relationship you would pick it up. Maybe you, you were together after something happened. So yeah, this person expects that you might hurt them, and that they um, imagined many things. What would they want? I ah, yeah, also I get it took out this temperance, I totally forgot about it. The death ten of pentacles and the temperance. Transformation, transformation to go to a new level so the relationship should not be the same as it was. Going deeper, basically, emotionally. Maybe like confessing something to each other. So maybe they want your confession. And Ten of Pentacles, this is legacy, this is family, or this is like family energy. So for some of you, yes, it's great, start in family. For, for others of you, it's just being honest with each other, being uh, not superficial, but you know, like family members. You know, people can say, I, I don't know uh, about. Uh, Many families, you know, in my we can say anything to each other, even in swear words, they can laugh at it, that's whatever. Temperance. They want uh, they want you to give them time. Oh, what we have here also, bottom of the deck energy. We had three kings, oh, two kings already. We have uh, we have full house. Uh, um, Kare, <laughs> four of a kind we have. Yeah, uh, we have King of Wands here. We have a King of Swords here. This looks like we're um, the person you're inquiring about is masculine. King of Cups. After we have King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, so they see you as a counterpart. They see you as uh, someone they could build a, a, a stable relationship, uh, family like. I mean, when you decide whether you want children or you want this or you not, but it's just something they want. Or it can be life partner. You know, if you're not into family, for example. Just something stable, not searching for anyone else anymore. Looks like this person is tired with this. So they want to know what you feel towards them, and they really want you to desire them. This is a lot, a lot about sexual tension. So most probably because they desire you a lot. And this King of Cups, I really like this King of, King of Cups from Lightseer's Tarot. It's 
interesting how his his eyes closed and this this little crown from water water element emotions. So basically, to feel your feels, you need to close your eyes. You don't look at the outside world. It's our heart which speaks. So this person wants to be everything. For sure, it's masculine. Doesn't matter if it's uh, if it's a woman, but more masculine, yeah. Um, because this person wants to be ever ah bottom of the deck energy we had the emperor yeah so the emperor would be for all the four kings so four of a kind each aspect of masculinity this person wants to be everything for you so it's rather not about uh, expecting what should you do you what should you do uh, agree to their offer but their offer is not coming before they see that you're actually into this and they want to know do you miss me like the desert miss the rain. Okay, let's read messages from your person. You deserve better. The passion is too much. Oh, I like such synchronicities when everything is like in the same direction. Talking about the same stuff. Will this pain ever stop? Okay, maybe let's clarify what the hell happened there. What's, what's the... This pain is about eight of wands. There's a, uh, if this is a long distance relationship or you're not talking to each other. So this person wants to talk to you, want, wants to contact you and wants, wants its passion, so they want you. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Wait, we have all the aspects of femininity also. Ah oh, no, not everything. Not everything. So yeah, the pain is about either not having you around or not being able to talk honestly as it is, as they feel it, what they want, what they have in their mind. Yeah, four of cups, four of cups, no communication. Okay, messages. I'm, I'm not available. Maybe they are busy with something. I hide behind material things. Yeah, so maybe they're building a material wealth to hide after uh, behind it and after being happy <laughs> about it. Just ironizing. Sorry, could not help. <laughs> I couldn't let you get close to me. And a little guidance for you guys, for the viewer. Lineage of the rose, moved by the goddess, here for this soul call, gather. Moved by the goddess. <laughs> the goddesses have moved this person. Morning glory, this is botanical inspirations flower deck affection and determination oh my god it's a quote by my favorite Alan Watts the morning glory which blossoms for a day differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years the wound is the place where the light enters you Rumi. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within you, yourself that you have built against it. Also Rumi. And my bad handwriting. Right guys, option one, thank you so much for being here, for bringing your beautiful energy to my channel and I wish you all the best. Love and light and I see you in the next video. Hello, dear option two. Welcome to your reading. You chose this peace card with I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. It's a wonderful, beautiful color of my today's lamp over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I oh, yeah. <laughs> can see it this way. So this is the deck you chose, the fountain tarot. And the plenty of oracle cards. This section will be messages from your person and guidance. I will put it aside for a minute. And shall we start? Let's see what are the expectations or let's say what your person wants you to do. What would they like you to do? What we have here? Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So this is rather like expectation. They are afraid that you might be too proud for them. Originality. 
The frequency of originality supports our capacity to be unique and original creators of unlimited possibilities in every moment. Liberation. Acceptance. The lower and the higher self with Venus in Sagittarius. I'm just mentioning um, like relevant astrological placements. So Venus is pretty relevant, especially in uh, love connections. I mean, love reading, love connections, yeah, in love readings. Okay, we have this card here. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, so yeah, definitely they want to be accepted, a certain liberation, like they don't want to be smothered, by, but they <laughs> want to be cared for. Mercury retrograde, reinvention. Well, definitely there's a certain need for reinventing your connection, like re-establishing re maybe either the roles or something, or the, the communicative style or whatever you started, like just start it all over again. The seer, follow your intuition. Okay, so this person hopes that you follow your intuition, that you see, you feel certain things unsaid. Okay, this one we, um, we have reversed, and this is companion. Shadow attributes, betrayal by misusing confidences, loss of personal identity. Uh, okay, uh, pride and this. So this person, this, this is kind of negative expectation. This is their fear. They expect negatively that you might be too prideful and you might be a bad companion. So basically you wouldn't care for them. You would rather be um, a solo player betrayal. So they're afraid to be betrayed. Let go control issues. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Letting go control issues. Right under the liberation card. Creativity, originality, creativity, turning in and nothingness. This is the hierophant from Osho Zen Tarot because it's Zen and Zen. <laughs> there's no God, there's everything and nothing. Sorry for the background noises again, guys, but <laughs> I will be tired of saying this. <laughs> All right, let me clarify what are their expectations. I just dropped like half of, half of the deck. Um, okay, let me see actually what we have there. The first one I already had in my hands. Um, three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. So they want this to work. If this is a, but be careful, if this is a work-related relationship, they, they want to keep it work-related without any kind of additional... <laughs> Additional emotions or passion. So just a, just a little note for those of you who are it's your boss or your colleague or you're studying together. Okay, mm. here we have eight of eight of swords and five of wands. So these are rather uh, negative expectations again. So they expect. So they are afraid of this. Five of wands, eight of swords. They expect you to be very either jealous, either combative, either conflict, and they obviously don't want this. Maybe something like that happened. Seven of Wands and Four of Coins. Yes, yeah, so there are some kind of these expectations are rather negative. It's not that the, the, we're gonna we're gonna see what they want actually you to do. This is something they, I don't know they they expect a lot of negative stuff from you. Uh, so again, being too opinionated, too defensive. Like, too defensive and too controlling at the same time. <laughs> okay, let me, let me grab those from the... Okay, there was plenty of cards, that's too much to read, but I definitely noticed the Ten of Swords, so... Let's clarify, actually, what Ten of Swords would be an ending, so they would expect you ending the connection or something. Okay, so what would they want you to do? King of Wands, being active, being passionate, being a leader of connection, 
showing your desires, showing your passion, stating what you want and saying like, hey, let's go with me, I have a plan. Ace of coins, okay, yeah, giving them a chance, they would want you to accept them as they are. Ah, yeah, this card here, I want to clarify the lower and the higher self, let's have a look. Okay, the sun and the eight of cups. Uh -huh, okay, um, so this is they know your tendencies, maybe they know your character. We are all not perfect, we have the best and we have the worst uh, uh, characteristics, traits of ours. So the sun and the eight of cups, so that, they, that might be, they know that you might be very individualistic or you're just a bright personality and that you know your worth and uh, they are afraid that uh, you might either leave or you know do it in a kind of a, a bit egotistic way like you know de demonstrating it like you know what i'm gonna find someone better i'm not sure they can be this kind of person or why they think this that might be some kind of issue of theirs for example okay so what do they want Six of Cups we have here. Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy. This is a pleasant memories, nostalgia. So maybe they uh, want you to remember the good times you had together and basically give the chance to this connection again. Due to the good times you had and to, to try to build good times again. Okay, what's that? Uh, Queen of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. They want the Queen of Swords to change her mind, <laughs> to be more beneficial, benevolent, benevolent, sorry, towards them. Yeah, okay, so you're like uh, this kind of boss-like personality, or this is just the way they perceive you, so they are really afraid that you are you might be um, too individualistic, so you don't want to um, think about someone else's needs, so you might be a bad companion. It's not that they don't like you, but they just know that you're uh, you do you and uh, well, you know maybe you don't care about anyone else in your life so this is this is what they're afraid of and yeah pride pride this is what they're afraid also so you will just shower them with your despise six of coins we have here yeah, so they want some interaction with you, definitely tangible, like they want to help you, they want to, you also to help them, so they want to, you two to find a compromise. Because so far they see you as a strong personality who doesn't need anyone. Oh, you know what, for you actually, I, I, I remember this song by Arthur James, Naked. I'm standing here naked. I. And I don't remember what he sings there, but it's like I'm tired of watching you pretending you you don't need anyone, so something like this. So maybe they you, they see you as this. Maybe they don't don't understand something, or maybe you just have uh, high boundaries, so you just don't open up uh, uh, for people that quick as they do, for example, right? Acceptance. So this is their main wish to be accepted. Look at this this hand gesture liberation and acceptance yeah and in case you know that you're wondering what kind of relationship they would want rather open relationship or traditional one uh, rather what i see uh, like open one with the the jealousy might be a big issue for them they don't like it more into freedom mm. all right so let's see messages from your person i can't take it anymore the heat between us is intense. Emotions overwhelm me. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, this, this kind of uh, reinvention that started again. Let's pretend we never started the first time. Let's just start again for the first time. I want to feel that way again. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, so this is like what, how they see you as this kind of bright person. And yeah, this is how they see both of you. You're big like this and they're small like that, looking at you, being at your mercy. Ah, mercy, Duffy, mercy, another son I will link for you. 
And let's get to the guidance. You gotta take four cards. Other piles are not that privileged, they got only one. <laughs> uh, pink rose, grace and sweetness. The pursuit of perfection then is the pursuit of sweetness and light by Matthew Arnold. I think God in creating man somewhat overestimated his ability, Oscar Wilde. If you want to know what a man's like, take a good look of how he treats his inferiors, not his equals, John Rowling. And guidance for you guys, for the viewer. Brothers of the Rose, sacred masculine, honor, protection, support. So how it feels that the viewer is feminine, disregarding the gender, and the person we're inquiring about is uh, male, so it's like, yeah, it's honoring sacred masculine, so maybe you, you definitely need to honor your, um, for real, maybe you need to honor your partner more than it's cool, but you know, we have this kind of stages of, of development. Either we give too much to other people and we forget about ourselves. After we're like, oh no, I need to mm, be more uh, individualistic. And we, we invest into ourselves and we keep on forgetting this line. So the balance, we, we need to always remember that the balance should be kept every, every single day. You cannot just uh, decide, okay, now I'm more uh, into myself and just keep on doing it automatically all your life. You need to also feel the situation, the flow you're in. So, you know, keeping the balance between give and take, between um, collective and individualistic, between me and us. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Basically, listen to your heart, option two, and feel like here, um, it feels like you're blocking the connection, actually. Yeah, might be, might be. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Thank you so much, option two, for being here. Thank you for listening to the reading. I hope uh, you found it interesting or helpful, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye. Love and light, guys. Hello dear option 3, welcome to your meeting. You chose the self-esteem card with uh, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And the Muse Tarot, beautiful like that. So I prepared plenty of oracles for you in case you want to know what kind of deck it is. I show it in the preparation section so you can use the timestamps to find it. Okay, so what moves your person expects from you or what do they want? It's a bit different because expectations can be also negative, so we might be afraid of something. So we'll just have a look and see each situation independently, what, we, what comes through. Freedom. Mm. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay, so they expect you to be free-spirited or more free-spirited than you are. Sensitivity. The frequency of sensitivity helps us open to the world of subtly, subtlety sorry, and detail while anchoring in a structural foundation, thus supporting us to become more fully multidimensional. Yes, sensitivity, be more sense to sensitive actions, I would say. Uh, sex. <laughs> Just straightforward like that. So they expect sex from you. Touching one another. Okay, another <laughs> erotic, erotically oriented card. Release. Mm -hmm. Freedom, release, sex. It might be a bit like one night stand connection or um, nothing else but sex. No strings attached. The freedom to be yourself with the sun in Scorpio freedom to be yours or maybe they notice that you're like trying too hard or you're not really being yourself or something so that's why they want you to be more free and express uh, yourself as you are not for someone to like not for them to like you but just hey who you are really I have this beautiful lady here look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way mm. it's an interesting option here so this person like wants uh, you know, for you to to benefit more, 
like you know to have more freedom to have more for you to take care of yourself more this is what i wanted to say the wolf beware who you trust very interesting it's it's like a rather a parent would, <laughs> would have these expectations about their gender very interesting this uh, athlete Dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. Yeah, it's about strength. It's about strength. Uh, it's rather to believe in yourself. Yeah, I mean, this, this position is, this option is very weird. It's either <laughs> your life coach or your, <laughs> um, your parent, or uh, this is a wedding card, or this is someone who loves you truly. Because the, the the biggest that we started from the freedom so they want you to lead more free life and you know in my opinion no one else than Osho can say what love is because everyone is speaking about this love is that love is this blah 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 and it lives three years goodbye Frederick Begbeder it's not true maybe fake love is living ah oh, yeah wait this is what he says actually I don't, I don't really remember that I read it long ago so uh, you know the, the only True love make you more free, gives you freedom to be yourself, freedom to be myself. We will see, of course, uh, it's too early to state anything, but already feels like this person might know what is real love and they might be loving you definitely. The wedding, or it doesn't have to be wedding, like the exact wedding um, and uh, family and children, it just depends on uh, how serious you want to go, but like a life partner being a life partner. Sweetness. Sorrow. Nine of Swords, Nine of Clouds. Guidance. Interesting how these, these two are actually would correlate, right? This guy here uh, crying and there is angel guiding him. So it, actually this interesting. You see the, the, the angel here. This lady is being guided by the angel, but she looks back at this guy like, Hey, why are you crying? Like, uh, follow us. We're gonna go have fun. Stop crying. <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes it's actually good to cry, to have a nasty, good, nasty cry, to release uh, uh, all the um, negative energies and energetic debris and uh, forget about your problems. But, you know, you need to cry it out and after you feel positive, you cannot just stop crying in the process, in the middle. No, cry till the end. <laughs> Aquarius, I know. I know their expectation. Aquarius is again about freedom, about equality, about fraternity. Okay, so here. Oh, oh yeah, and we had these two of emotions, bottom of the deck energy, yeah, two of cups. No, this 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 option is definitely about love and the cup. Beautifully, it looks. We have two ladies here, but it doesn't have to be same sex connection, it can be uh, any any kind of connection. All my readings, guys, are not about genders. Uh, sometimes, if it, if, if it is, I'm just saying this, okay? This one is gender specific. This is a hetero situation for sure, or this is a gay situation for sure. But mostly they are not. So it's about the soul. We love, we, we're supposed to love the souls, not the bodies. But bodies definitely add some flavor. <laughs> we have this, this sex and touching one another cards here. So definitely erotic expectations granted from this person. Let me clarify this release card. Release what you what what do they want you to release? Six of emotions, so maybe something from the past, some kind of nostalgia you had. Seven of voices. This is about some kind of illusions or manipulations or lies or any kind of uh, um, untruthful information. So it's not only about lying; it's also about concealing the truth. So they would love. Wait a second, I already confused who is, uh, who, is who here. Yeah, your person uh, would love you to release any kind of mental... Um, I totally forgot the word now. Uh, like mental labyrinths, your, your 
uh, you're in, any kind of me uh, specula mental speculations, like thinking too much about the situation without uh, uh, actually taking actions, which, uh, what does it give to us, this analysis paralysis? The six of cups, nine of materials. And here, what, what is interesting, uh, normally it's like positive six of uh, cups uh, uh, emotion. Look at this, I'm not sure if you're able to see, I'm trying to focus, but it's not, well, it's not that easy to, but she has a bit of um, sad face, I would say, sad face. So some past sad memories or some past of your connection. So maybe this person knows that you were like, you're too invested into something that happened between two of you and your person feels uh, that it's blocking you from, you know, connecting on a deeper level. Nine of materials. Yeah, they expect you to be more independent, more happy, more fulfilled, enjoying your life, just enjoying every single aspect of your life. And maybe this kind of freedom and um, freedom to be yourself, it's not about even relationship, it's rather about you expressing yourself in your career, for example, it feels like. This this all oh, this pile, this option gives a very chilled vibe. I would I don't know who's this person you're uh, I, I would go for them. <laughs> they have very positive energy, very chilled. Okay, so your person's expectations I highly recommend you're your person. <laughs> oh you know it yourself. Yeah. Night of voices. Knight of Voices. Uh, this is a uh, Knight of uh, Swords. This is a very, we have a, this is an unconventional deck, so not classical one. So we have this Piga Pegasus, Pegas? I don't know the English word for, uh, for this guy from uh, Greek mythology, but it's a, um, a horse with wings, which is the symbol of inspiration. But classical Knight of Swords is a conflict energy, is a very uh, non-compromising, very quick, quick uh, very swift, very mental, so uh, at times very conflict and cruel. And Ten of Swords, uh, they expect you to actually turn with your cruel side and end the relationship, Ten of Voices. Ten of Voices, voices is some kind of ending. Okay, so let's see if their expectations and after we will see what they want. Because expectations can be negative, so basically they would expect that, yeah, everything will go wrong. And I don't know, having a reason for that or not, it doesn't matter. It's okay, their expectations. Ten of materials. Okay, this, this is definitely what they want. I mean, let me clarify it before I'm talking too much. Okay, Knight of Voices. Ah, you know what? Ten of Voices. I like how these swords in this deck called voices. You know what? Um, yeah, with that said, uh, they would rather want you to turn your. Uh, this is emperor. So, your cruel energy towards something, like towards the thoughts you have in your mind. So this option is definitely like about. Uh, this person takes care of you. They think about stuff which would be like you know useful for you, not only like uh, uh, to possess you as my partner. If you have, look at someone else's uh, beautiful ass, uh, okay, we, we get divorced or something. No, this person they want the best for you, as, as it feels. Yeah, because when I added the emperor, that just clarified everything. So they want you to stand in your power and to either fix the shit you have in your life and like um, you know. Quit living not the best of your lives and start living the best of your lives. This ten of voices is about the relationship you have or not. Ah, death, death. Ah, yeah. Okay. So this works. Yeah. Tarot is such a such an interesting tool that it works uh, like both sides. So the two cards express at the same time two lines of the story. So yeah. They're really afraid that you might end this connection. So they don't want this connection to end. They don't want this marriage. They want you to. First of all, they, they have a lot of um, like wishes. Like if they're manifesting something, so they're like wishing the best for you. Um, also, beware who you trust. They want you to be careful who you trust. So it's very very caring energy. And this wedding here with the life partner definitely. 
literature, it should be a bit, a bit cringy as the, the depiction on the, the card, very old school. But anyway, the, they would want you to be their life partner. So if, if you had it as a doubt or something, no, they, they, want, they see you as their love, life partner. But also what they see is this, they, they want you to heal your um, some issues, some emotional issues, five of cups. It's either you had some kind of conflict, something from the past, or maybe you keep on uh, you know remembering and recalling something and reminding them like, oh, remember you did this or that, so they would love you to quit that. Because it just destroys the, the moment. Yeah, and I would agree with that, it, it destroys the moment. Ten of materials is again this community, what they want from you, life becoming the life partner. But the, the first desire they want you to become a happier person, just for yourself, just to be happy as you are. Not to because they want to, you know, not, it's not that they are playing around uh, with you like, oh, I want you to do this, I want you to change your hairstyle, now let's change it, let's uh, make fake boobs for you or something. No, it's like they want something better for you. And you will definitely benefit from it. Okay, what do they want from you? Like, what kind of actions they would want from you? Oh, four of emotions. This one is rather, again, um, going within, turning in, tuning into your inner world. Three of swords. Okay, so this is the, this, the negative energy. So maybe they want you to analyze the negative, yeah, the negativity you have to confront it and to work, <laughs> to work on it. We have eight of pentacles, yes. The lovers, they want you to be their lover, that's it, a uh, life partner and to love yourself in the first place and uh, love them, of course. Free of emotions we also have here. They would want you to be more chilled. <laughs> to let go, yeah, three of inspirations. Interesting, we have all this three, three, three. Three is the number of uh, movement of initiations, uh, making a first step. So they would love to change this three of voices, three of swords, this painful memories or painful thoughts or being harsh on yourself into inspiration, into positive emotions, into freedom, into a flow of joy. Ace of materials, take a chance on me. <laughs> yeah, so this person wants something stable with you, but first they want you to see your own value. Just this, this person's like your life coach or something. <laughs> nine of, yeah, nine of materials, and like children being silent. Yeah, again, I should show you this nine of materials, nine of pentacles that they want you to live best of your lives, to be the best version of yourself. It's not because they want to show off with you, just, just for you to be happy, that's it. Okay, let's see messages from your person. I am blocked. Why is it that you love me? I am obsessed with you. I wish to be like you. And now I'm confusing who's saying that. <laughs> yeah, because this the person you're checking uh, on uh, your partner, they actually uh, want you to be like them or what? Like more free? Okay, now I'm super confused. You you be like me, I be like you. Okay, that's that's like that um, song <laughs> from Linkin Park. Actually, it would be a great soundtrack for this song, Linkin Park. Now we'll put it down. Not to forget about it. My life is not as together as it seems. I feel you even through we are apart. There might be twin flame, definitely, but this is a twin flame on already a cool stage of uh, awareness that uh, in the first place I want to see my partner happy and after I want to see us together. If for them to be happy we have to separate, I'd rather do that than to torture them. I will wait for a sign from you. And a little guidance for you guys. Oh my god, it's my quote, my arrogant quote, my little handwritten deck. 
I love that fake people hate me. At least their hatred is real. Since their love is cheap and fake, I prefer real things. By moi. Me. <laughs> okay, and another guidance from Rose Oracle from Universe. The sacred union, beloved within. Inner and outer relationships. Okay, that's a definite sign that's a good relationship, that's a cool person for you. Uh, you need to either you, I mean, it just can, you know, all these energies, they can mirror each other. And it's not a mistake, it's actually that we mirror each other. And I, I suspect that that might be a twin flame connection is definitely mirroring big time. So you need to first love yourself to create this, to let this love live inside of you to let yourself be loved by your inner partner, to build this image of your inner partner. And of course, after your, all your relationship will go smoother, but this is a huge work that needs to be done inside. No one sees it, no one will uh, give you an Oscar for it, but you will be so much happier. I promise you, I guarantee you. Okay, we have uh, anyone here. Oh, and another name is Windflower. Mm. Anticipation. I felt like an arrow, pulled back and ready to be launched into something big. By A. B. Shepherd. Alright guys, thank you so much for being with me. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it was helpful and I hope to see you again in the next reading.